I searched everywhere online for videos on how to secure a dock to land. Couldn't find anything anywhere. I thought to myself, 1,500 pounds of concrete and this baby is going nowhere. I started by building a form out of half inch plywood that I had in my garage and some scrap two by six from a deck that my brother built. I used the two by six for the sides of my form and they will brace all of the corners together. I did one side at a time and I made sure that I leveled it as I went. Ground where I am putting the form is really rocky, hilly, and uneven. So if yours is too, I suggest building it in place versus building a form and then putting it in place. The front piece of plywood was down about six inches from the back, but again, you want the block to go up the slope of the ground, so that's okay. Once it was leveled and ready to go, there were a ton of small holes in the bottom, but I just filled them with small rocks that will harden into the concrete. But while it's drying, it's gonna act as a wall so nothing seeps out. Now it's time to get all of those bags poured inside. One by one, we mix them in the wheelbarrow and we set up a makeshift ramp to make the dumping easier. A tip between pours, use your shovel to mix it around and get all of the air bubbles out to ensure the entire form is filled with concrete. Between the layers, we placed rocks of all sizes and even other pieces of concrete that we had around the yard, and it acted as a rebar. It also acted as a space filler and allowed the 15 bags of concrete to go much further than if we didn't put anything in. Now we're gonna attach these guys. I don't know what they're called, but they are built specifically for attaching docks that pivot on them when the waves move. We just take this little pin out remove this one piece will go onto our dock and the other piece is going to go directly onto our concrete form and we're going to do that with bolts that are galvanized and that way these will then be secure into the cement and it's going to grab on and we don't have to drill afterwards it secures itself while it dries i leveled where i'm going to put the hardware and i pre-drilled and bolted them on we kept filling up the form until it was almost at the top and since we're going to be building a small deck on land we stuck a footing in there so it was ready to start in that video i'll show you how to frame up and build a basic deck so if you haven't yet don't forget to subscribe and you'll be notified when that video comes out since i didn't follow any sort of video or instruction a couple days later when i went back i was really nervous i'm not gonna lie we took the boards off dad smashed the boards off but would you look at that? It worked and I was so excited. I never thought I would be this pumped up about concrete. Now that that's done, we needed to build an attachment to go from the concrete block to the square floating dock I built last year. I linked that video below and it's a great step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build a 10 by 10 floating dock and it's really easy. We were fortunate enough though to have a neighbor give us a 16 foot frame that has never been used and that's what I'm going to use. Here I am attaching the barrels to one end. It's much easier to build a frame around barrels, but we're gonna make this work. Once I cut out a spot for the barrels, we put it on and out in the water, only to realize <laughs> that it was too short. Take this as a lesson and make sure you know exactly where your concrete is going compared to the length of your dock. Should have made it a few feet closer, but that's okay. We just took it as an opportunity to make the dock even longer and now we can finish. Short recap of how these dock hinges work. The pin comes out, you align the holes, the spike connects them and the pin goes back in and this allows the dock to move with the waves. To attach them to the dock, you need to measure their distance apart from each other. Mark it on a two by six that you will cut to the width of your dock. Attach that piece to the front of your dock and then remove them from the form and attach them to your wood. Once they are attached and your dock is aligned, it's ready to go. If you're wondering why we didn't put the floorboards on yet, I decided to wait to be able to get it in place first, just in case I had to move it a couple of times before adding the extra weight and making it more difficult. When this all came together, I can't express how excited I was. I was almost positive this would work, but when you get to see it all together, it is such an accomplishment. Then attach the rest of the floorboards. We were short a few, but with social distancing, I need to wait for the delivery to come versus going in store. So just pretend that there isn't a big gap. So instead of leaving the 10 by 10 dock a floating dock, we decided to use the exact same hardware and the same method to attach the two. 
So now we have 24 feet out to a 10 by 10 dock, 34 feet to enjoy. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have built your own dock or if you have found this one helpful at all. Remember, I linked the original video down below, so check that one out for a full how-to build. Trust me, it's easier than you think. Thanks, everyone.